I'm Dr Andy Price. I'm Head of Politics here at Sheffield Hallam University, and I'm delighted to welcome to the university tonight acclaimed author and journalist George Monbiot, who's here as part of the Off the Shelf Festival to talk about his new book, Out of the Wreckage, A New Politics for a Time of Crisis. George, welcome to Sheffield Hallam and to Off the Shelf. Thanks very much, Andy. It's great to be back in Sheffield. I love this city. Great. It's great to have you here. I've got a question about the book, if I can, George. I, I think the book's a wonderful discussion of how to create a new politics for an age of crisis. And you talk in the book about the need to create a new narrative to replace the old narrative. And of course, we know the old narrative is there's no such thing as society. It's all about the individual. Uh, and I think that's absolutely right. We do need a new narrative. However, how do we balance the need for a new narrative when we talk to young people, the students that come through this university, because we're telling them at the same time that the narrative is needed to overcome some very serious problems and crises. So how do you balance that, the, the, the need for a narrative against the, the actual scariness of the nature of, of yes. the crises? Well, of course, we, we've got crises coming at us at tremendous speed, like sort of trucks coming down the motorway. And, and some of them are up here and it's very hard to see past them. Some of them we can see coming from a distance. And at the moment we're truck dodging. We're just sort of trying to weave in and out and not get knocked over by any of them. And it's you know, a frightening time for everybody, but particularly for students, particularly for young people who, who are at the wrong end of so much of this. Mm -hmm. um, and inevitably we have to try to deal to some extent with those individual crises. But if we deal only with those individual crises, and if we try to pick them off one at a time, and say, okay, we'll, we'll rush off and try and do something about this and do something about this, then we are inevitably going to fail. Because apart from anything else, we're responding to the opposition's agenda. We're responding to the agenda of those who are doing us in. And, and they throw something at us, and drive for the truck at us, and we have to try to stop the truck. Well, that can only take you so far, and that is a position where you are just constantly going to be retreating. And the way to get onto the front foot, the way to reverse that formula, is to confront the whole system with a whole new system. And what you're doing there is confronting the grand narrative of neoliberalism with a new grand narrative. And because we are creatures of narrative, because narrative is, is the way we interpret and engage with the world, if you get that narrative right, then everything starts to change. But you can't really fundamentally change anything until you are changing the framing within which that discussion is held. So what you've got to do is create, in effect, a new common sense. And neoliberalism has been adopted by parties across the political spectrum as common sense. This is the way things are. You know, when Mrs. Thatcher said there's no alternative, Labour and the Democrats set out to prove her right <laughs> by shutting down all alternatives, effectively, to, to neoliberalism. Well, we're seeing space beginning to open out again now, but what we've got to fill that space with is not the old 20th century Keynesian social democratic politics, which have their problems in the 21st century. We've got to come up with a wholly new narrative, and that's what I've tried to do.